The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Ephesians. Be generous to one another, sympathetic, forgiving each other as readily as God forgave you in Christ. As God's dear children then, take him as your pattern and follow Christ by loving as he loved you, giving himself up for us as an offering and a sweet smelling sacrifice to God. Among you, there must be not even a mention of sexual vice or impurity in any of its forms or greed. This would scarcely become the holy people of God. There must be no foul or salacious talk or coarse jokes. All of this is wrong for you. There should rather be thanksgiving. For you can be quite certain that nobody who indulges in sexual immorality or impurity or greed, which is worshiping a false god, can inherit the kingdom of God. Do not let anyone deceive you with empty arguments. It is such behavior that draws down God's retribution on those who rebel against him. Make sure that you do not throw in your lot with them. You were darkness once, but now you are light in the Lord. So behave as children of light. And our response comes from Psalm 1. How blessed is anyone who rejects the advice of the wicked and does not take a stand in the path that sinners tread, nor a seat in company with cynics, but who delights in the law of Yahweh and murmurs his law day and night. Such a one is like a tree planted near streams. It bears fruit in season and its leaves never wither and every project succeeds. How different the wicked, how different. Just like chaff blown around by the wind. For Yahweh watches over the path of the upright. But the path of the wicked is doomed. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. One Sabbath day, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues. And there before him was a woman who for 18 years had been possessed by a spirit that crippled her. She was bent double, quite unable to stand upright. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said, woman, you are freed from your disability. And he laid his hands on her. And at once she straightened up. And she glorified God. But the president of the synagogue was indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath. And he addressed all those present with these words. There are six days when work is to be done. Come and be healed on one of those days, not on the Sabbath. But the Lord answered him and said this, hypocrites, is there one of you who does not untie his ox or his donkey from the manger? on the Sabbath and take it out for a watering. And this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has held bound these 18 years, was it not right to untie this bond on the Sabbath day? And when he had said this, all his adversaries were covered with confusion. And all the people were overjoyed at all the wonders he had worked. The Gospel 
of the Lord. 